Hey guys, Heather here from Tie Dye, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Rankin's Dragons and about how they're basically the miniature version of these guys. <laughs> today we're going to kind of compare their size side by side just to kind of show you guys that yes, you can get a animal that's just as nice as a beard dragon, except it doesn't get as big. So let's kind of compare the two real quick. All right, since these guys would definitely not get along if I put them uh, really close together on the ground, I'm gonna put them side by side next to each other. All right, so on the left, you got a full grown bearded dragon. And on the right, you got a full grown Rankin's dragon. This is actually one of Sally's children, all grown up. And this is Miss Ella, one of our breeders. So you can see that these guys are definitely, uh, definitely a different size. Uh, the Rankin's Dragon only gets to be about 12 inches long maximum. And this one I'd say is a little bit shorter than 12 inches. 12 inches would be the maximum, the biggest kind, uh, biggest example you would get. But uh, yeah, this one's I say a little bit shorter than 12 inches. And then Miss Ella over here, she, I'm not sure how long she is. But bearded dragons can get up to 24 inches long. I she's definitely not quite 24 inches long, but she uh, never like taken a ruler out to like measure her. But from the tip of the tail to the snoot, it can be up to 24 inches. Miss Ella is actually gravid, so if she looks a little extra chunky, that's why. But yeah, these guys are definitely bigger, longer. Um, but as far as cage requirement goes, we still recommend a 40 gallon breeder, like the same size for an adult beer dragon and a Rankin's dragon. Just gives them a good uh, temperature difference in the tank as far as that goes. So your tank requirement would be about the same. And of course, uh, they're just as friendly and everything. And they do look a lot different. You got way different type of spike pattern and everything. It's not just their size that makes them look a little different. They don't got that really spiky beard. They just have scales on their uh, on their chin. And their coloration and patterning can be a little different too. Uh, the one thing though is that when they're babies, baby Rankin's dragons look almost identical to baby bearded dragons. Except they're a little bit smaller, they have a little bit different head shape. Rankin's dragons definitely definitely have a narrower head, I think, than your bearded dragons do. They have a more triangular uh, head. If you look at if you look at her, you can see that it's more triangular. Oh man, she is active. She's full of eggs, so she's kind of uncomfortable. We can let her hang out over there for a little while by herself. She's fine. She's not gonna hurt anything. But yeah, these guys are definitely a lot different. But as far as personality wise, I'd say Rankins are just as friendly as your bearded dragons and will just chill out and hang out with you. And as far as age goes, where are you going, Ella? Yeah, I'm gonna check out the plant. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the plant. But as far as age goes, oh, she's gonna check out the brick, okay. As far as age goes, your, your dragons will live, live a little bit longer at 8 to 15 years old. These guys get about 6 to 8 years old. That's their average lifespan. So they do live a little bit uh, shorter than a bearded dragon. So yeah, if you've ever wanted a, uh, a little bearded dragon but you kind of said, Oh, I wish they could stay little forever, uh, you can actually get a Rankin's dragon and you can actually make that happen because these guys do stay little forever and they're really similar to bearded dragons as far as care goes, how they look and how friendly they are. Yeah, Ella, Ella she's chilling out on my shoulder right now. So yeah, they're all, both pretty chill lizards and everything. Yeah, we hope you kind of enjoyed that today. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna get active now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we hope you enjoyed that little look at these guys today, just kind of showing you that these are kind of like miniature bearded dragons. So yeah, if you've ever wanted to add one to your family, we got a few younger ones at our shop right now. And uh, we're hoping they find some homes by Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.